Hello, I'm Ron Covell. For several years now, I've been traveling the country, interviewing and videotaping some of the top designers and builders in the nation. So join me as we visit some people who have gone beyond the boundaries. I'm really glad you could come down to my shop here and uh, check out some of these things that I'm working on for the future. Some of these things are so daring because of the power plant I'm using. I'm using a three-cylinder Suzuki which comes out of the Chevy uh, Sprint or Metro they call it now. Uh, the reason I got on that I was in a car show in Phoenix and this guy's telling me the story that he's using these metro engines to fly airplanes with. Wow. And so <laughs> he brought me some pictures and I thought, well, if he can drive an airplane with them, I can sure drive a car with them. And they have a natural uh, boss on the intake manifold where you can put an inject injector. I was going to do that, but I don't want to run a computer with this, so I'm ending up with the Weber downdraft on it. But that's the typical kind of chance that I take. And uh, it, it's a pretty... 99% success thing there, I think, because a lot of people now know what a metro is, and uh, they're pretty good sales things. So mm -hmm. I started out with that in mind to use that, and then I wanted the whole frame chrome plate, and I wanted wanted the uh, torsion bar system because most of the rods you see they don't have a uh, spring in the front. So I, I I decided to make all my joints so that they could be taken apart and chrome plated. Then when I looked around for steering systems, I decided to use a drag race steering box. And uh, the front wheels had to be a drag race wheel. I used the Kragers and uh, put these uh, gold, these uh, Eagle tires that mm -hmm. Goodyear makes. Are those Ford spindles? I cut, uh, made the axle out of a plate, and then uh, I took Ford spindles and ground off everything it didn't need and remounted this actual spindle itself mm -hmm. to be in a little further. I put plenty of uh, uh, caster into the front so that uh, it would go good at high speeds and I put a four-way on it because I still think that these uh, hind jointed four-ways are the best looking and also the best working. And uh, got it low to the ground because here again a lot of guys build rods and they don't get them low to the ground. Well, my my buns are only four inches off the ground. Wow. I learned that from uh, <clears throat> building motorcycle three-wheelers. You want to stay low so that your center of gravity stays low. Uh-huh. And uh, the rear uh, the rear rim, which are down there, they're, uh, I got them at SEMA. I looked around the whole SEMA show until uh, I was able to find the rim that I liked. That would be like the uh, stealth bomber. Mm -hmm. And I have a picture of the stealth fighter on the wall there because every time I do something on this car, I say, does it reflect that mysterious look that the stealth design has with the, this little nose piece and the weird headlights and uh, sawtooth the, on the uh, canopy as it lifts up? And I think I've come pretty close to it. Mm -hmm. Now, when I try these things in plaster, a lot of times they don't look good, so I, uh, so I um, take it off and start over. And uh, what I ended up with in this body here is something that's pretty close to that stealth design. Because I'm building this thing for the 99 Roaster show in Oakland. Mm -hmm. I've got to have something that reflects uh, stealth technology really. So I, uh, I've got this angular look pretty well even in the, the windshield that has angles in it and uh, trying to keep that stealth design. Now I build these things out of plaster to begin with and then uh, if I don't like something, I just chop it off and do it over again. Mm -hmm. That's what's neat about plaster. And it's cheap, too. This whole body, so far, has cost me 150 bucks, and all i got to do is prime it and paint it. So uh -huh. I'm, not, 
I'm not into these things that bundle like these other guys with the aluminum bodies because the disadvantage of metal is that you've got to know what you want before you start. Mm -hmm. Because uh, once you form a piece of metal, it's hard to, to make it a different shape. So the advantage I have is I just get my bondo file out and I file the plaster down to what I want, look I want. Mm -hmm. And I put fiberglass over the plaster and then just when the fiberglass hardens, I just knock it out with a, with a little hammer. Mm -hmm. plaster's gone. The way I made this axle is I took plate and I cut this entire half here out of it. I made two of those out of plate. Uh -huh. And I made th uh, two of these on the left hand side out of plate. Then I welded them together in the center here. And I took one inch strap and welded that entire business together. And took the ends out of a 48 Ford. These, these, uh, uh, the king, with kingpin the, bosses? Kingpin boss. Yeah. I, put, I, I welded them on here. And I put the caster in without castering the axle. And then uh, ground that all down to get the chrome plater. And these, uh, this is what they call they call this a dead perch where you, there's no shackle in between this torsion bar and the other torsion bar is mounted on a the actual shackles in here. If you notice when I go up and down, it moves back and forth here, so that uh, the dead shackle prevents the car from shifting when you make a turn. Uh -huh. Most axles with shackles that go back and forth like this. And then I have a, a drag race uh, steering box here. And I have my own little buffer here so I polish all the simple oh, great. stuff. And before I send this stuff to the chrome plater, I have to tell him what I want chrome. So I buff up the stuff because some of these things are not very unfamiliar to him. He doesn't know what to polish, so I, I polish it up here. Uh -huh. And then I use the Krager drag race rims because I want this thing to be light, under a thousand pounds. I want it to look really racy, and I want it to be fast so that uh, under a thousand pounds, even with a thousand cc Suzuki engine, it'll it'll run good. Uh -huh. So that's the plan, and uh, it's it's coming along pretty good. I'm really happy with the way it's going. I've got to detail a lot of stuff out, but it's going together pretty good. Now this is 1996. Mm -hmm. uh, I have two more years to complete this. Because, right. Uh, the Oakland shows in '99, but at the end of '98 it goes to uh, Tokyo, and uh, so I've got to have it done by then. So I've got two years to get it done. Great.